Hey, and welcome back to Cocktail Cards. My name is AJ, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to make the pina colada. Now, I think everyone thinks of vacation, being on the beach, on a cruise, you know, whenever you think of a pina colada. And since none of us have been able to take a vacation here recently, I figured let's go ahead and take the vacation and bring it home. So for the ingredients in this cocktail, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with rum. Now this is the national drink of Puerto Rico, so we're gonna go ahead and go with Bacardi for this one. Next, we're gonna need a cream of coconut. Now, this stuff is actually pretty awesome and you do have to use the Coco Lopez. So this brand right here, you can find them in most grocery stores. And in fact, it's so crucial for this drink. I actually find this in the liquor section of my grocery store. Next, we're gonna need some pineapple juice. Now, I like to have a thicker pineapple juice since this is a blended cocktail. And uh, in order to do that, what I do is just take chunks of pineapple, throw those into a blender, and then bottle what's left, which is gonna be a little bit thicker of a pineapple juice. And lastly, for a garnish, I'm gonna have a pineapple wedge and also a cherry to go on top. Now, of course, you're also gonna need a blender for this drink since it is blended. Uh, you can make this on the rocks if that's something you wanna do. However, almost 99 times out of 100, if you get this drink, it's probably gonna be blended. All right, so what I like to do is actually build out this drink in the glass that you are going to use for your pina colada. That way you have the correct amount blended to put into your glassware. I see a lot of people just guessing, they blend like way more than they need to, which, you know, maybe that's not that big of a problem. But um, for me, just for one drink, I like to build it out in my glass. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure out two ounces of rum. And next we're gonna measure out two ounces of that fresh pineapple juice. And next we're gonna measure out one and a half ounces of our cream of coconut. Now, if your can is stored in a cool temperature, it can actually get congealed. So what I like to do is just give it a nice little stir to break it up, or you can even run some hot water over the can as well. So once you get that nice and mixed up, then we'll measure out one and a half ounces of our cream of coconut. And then all we have to do after that is just fill our glass up with ice so we have the exact measurement of our drink and then toss it right in the blender. All right, so we're gonna take this and toss it into the blender. Now, it's important not to blend this for too long. I like to go for about eight to 12 seconds. So let's go ahead and toss this right into the blender. Perfect, that should be enough right there. Let's go ahead and take the lid off. Looks like we got a nice frozen consistency there. Perfect. And that should go right up to the top of your glass. There we are. We're gonna garnish with a nice pineapple wedge right on the side. Go ahead and plop a cherry right there on the top. We're gonna grab our straw and put it right in there. And there you have it, the pina colada. Mm, so good. So you get that cream of coconut blending so well with the pineapple juice. And of course the rum comes through just to, to remind you that it's an actual alcoholic drink because it is so simple, it's so delicious, definitely more on the sweet and kind of cream flavor tones. And that makes it very, very dangerous. Absolutely reminds me of vacation, sitting on a beach in Mexico. And uh, I hope this does the same for you. So there you have it, the pina colada. Hey, if you enjoyed the pina colada recipe, 
If you could do me a favor and give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe, we're gonna be coming out with over a hundred different recipes here on the channel of all your favorite drinks. So make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll catch you in the next one. My name is AJ with Cocktail Cards. Have a good one. Cheers.